So as luck would have it, um, our we just redid this video last year, and within the same year, our library website changed. So I wanted to make sure that you had more of an accurate depiction of what the Ryan Library website will look like when you actually come to it, so it's not confusing to you as a, an online learner. So again, the website is libguides.pointloma.edu. You can see that up top here. Um, you should probably just kind of save that as one of your favorite pages because at least for this class and the research methods class that you're going to be taking at some point in time in your program, um, you will use the Ryan Library for a lot of the literature searches. So um, to orient yourselves, um, what hasn't changed is you can still chat with a librarian. You can do that here in the far right side. And you can see right now the, the chat is offline. And so if that happens, then essentially you're just going to email your question. So you can only chat with a librarian if it says chat online, at which point in time they get back to you relatively quickly. That said, the focus of this online lecture really is centered around EndNote. And on the left hand side of the screen, you'll see this, this thing called Quick Links. And Quick Links is actually pretty, will become pretty essential for the next three weeks of this course. Um, because it links you to all of the databases that you're going to need to develop uh, your PICO question, but more importantly, to support the critical appraisal topic that you will be writing. It's where you'll get all of your research articles mainly. Now that said, today's focus is on EndNote. And so as you can see, when you looked at the first video, EndNote was somewhere on the right side of the Ryan Library, and now it's on the left side in the quick links, which to me makes more sense and is more intuitive. So you're going to click that citation help EndNote link and you'll be taken to kind of the citation page, which honestly is a hidden jewel within our library. I actually wish it was something that popped up and was in the front. Many of our healthcare programs will be required to write in APA. If you're an undergrad student, um, I think you've been encouraged to write using MLA. But as you move into the healthcare sector, most healthcare professionals are writing in APA or AMA. So for the purpose of this class, to be consistent, let's use APA format. And the great thing is there are several resources on this particular website which will teach you how to cite in APA. That said, you're gonna be using a reference citation manager which will in some ways do most of the um, what am I thinking? Most of the organizing of your citations so that you don't even have to think about how they're going to be used. So if I haven't sold EndNote to you, then maybe after this tutorial, you'll be even more of a fan. So as you can see in the center of this page, you're going to have to do something known as creating your account. I've already done this. So for me, it's going to look a little tiny bit different. The moral of the story is you're going to click this EndNote link and it's going to take you to an external site where you will click on the not a member yet and you are going to register. What I have found works best for me is to create an account with my Plant Loma email and my Plant Loma password, right? So then that way it just seems like everything is all connected, but it is your choice. Just remember to remember your email. Once you create your account, you'll log in and you'll be taken to what is called the EndNote website. And so from here you can see this is the actual EndNote platform. This is where you will store all of the resources that you'll be using for your critical appraisal topic and um, all of the resources that you might use for a literature review, for example, if you're in a different healthcare program um, or your research paper if you're doing, let's say, a capstone um, or thesis project. So it becomes kind of an online storage database for all of the resources that you'll use in each of your healthcare programs, doesn't matter which healthcare program you're actually in. So I will end this segment and then you guys can kind of go back to the longer version of this, but I wanted to make sure that you at least had a screen capture of how the library actually looks because I know if you see it one way online, you'll be like, I can't find it. So this is to help you figure out where EndNote is.